look at the plugins. Okay, so I've got my PR, PRI bank feeds connectivity, it's the guy, the first guy, and yep. then I've got my VGBI two parser. Okay, so when, okay, the code is simple too. It's just picking up the file and, and, and calling it. To appreciate this guy, you need just to see the underlying records. And it's, it's a bit strange, like, I admit that I think I kind of understand what they're doing, but really the setup is is kind of strange. Okay, so bank feeds, we want to see. Oh, I had done this, but really we're 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 connected to Citibank. You okay. define your financial institution. Okay. You say, okay, hey, I'm I'm Citibank. And then you define a a, a format profile. And uh, I've got some that I tested. Can't delete them because it's giving some error or something. But they, these are the ones I, you, I, I really like. Okay, yeah. so that is, so you can create more than one format as necessary. Yeah, connecting yeah. that to the transaction parser over there. That. Yeah, you, you'll see your transaction parser. Yeah, you're quick. You're quick. It's there. Oh, and I see you target the bank account that you're trying to go against. So this way you can kind of uh, uh, understand. Uh, you're trying to create a, a connectivity layer between all these different that data that's coming in and sources. Uh, mm -hmm. to, to target where it's going to go and how to parse it. Indeed. I, I need to because one's going to go, like you can manually import a file yourself mm -hmm. or you can have it import with connectivity. So I needed to, I want to show you the one with connectivity. Okay, so yeah, so I say here's my parser. Mm -hmm. Okay, then um, there's there's some stuff. Okay, click edit to, to, to see things. Let's click edit and just have a look. I don't think anything's going to show here. Yeah, after you enter the required configuration data, so I had entered something I don't even remember. Some sort of keys or something, probably connectivity keys. Ah, uh, well, the thing, the thing is, is that okay? There is a plugin script behind this, and it's okay. it's it's a little bit driving you in the client side, and I didn't need connectivity keys or anything, so I think I just commented this out. Okay. Some, some, yeah, there's some things I just did not need to do at all. Be, um, and, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And, this is that, commented out in my code. I'm, rem, I'm, rem, I'm remembering better. Imagine you're connecting to a bank yep. and indeed you have to put a username, password, that, 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 that. You're going to, you're going to program this out inside your plugin. You're going to, you're going to see this interact even client side. I just commented this out. Because we're using our, we're using our FTP thing, which gives us not, not better control, visibility and everything. Right. Cause you're saying, I don't need these services. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, totally. that makes totally. sense because we're very comfortable in the other tool. The other tool is more robust. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. It would have to do less programming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll probably never, it could be we never even need this. Okay? Right, because um, at the end of the day, it's just SFTP. That's that library that they're yeah. expecting to interact with. With other banks, the connectivity could indeed be different. And okay. then, but then maybe we're going to do uh, some sort of connector that's different. It drops a file at the end. Yeah, I don't the know. Be the, the beauty is, is yeah. it wants to get to a file. That's the, that's that's the point. The, the software hands yeah. off at some location in the in the in the file directory. Yes, by all means. Okay, good. Okay, so we're we're mapping to to more than just just one bank account. You, you mm. the file could could indeed contain data for multiple bank accounts. Oh, okay. It's okay. Indeed possible. So. Here, here, my, my script is, is, is going and, and uh, mapping uh, the bank account to um, the NetSuite bank account um, in, in some sort of way. Uh, the metadata behind this, this is where I, I've stored it in custom records. So it's not hard coded. It's what they recommend you do even when you read the help pages. So I wanna show you my little custom record setup. Thus, thus you created a custom record uh, of yeah. your own doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Now this is going to be something like PRI mm -hmm. space and it's going to be something like bank account or something. Now, how many pages do we have? Okay. So it won't be too hard to find cash clearing. No. Okay. Sorry. No. So it's just sitting right here. It should be pretty fast to find. Yeah. Okay. Here, here we go. These are our guys. 
I could have put a little PR right in front of you, I guess. No worries, no worries. Yeah. So we could totally bring this to a dev account. We could reuse this. Yeah, so you have this guy, but then you also have this guy. One's a child, one's a parent. So this is your actual account mapping. This is your financial institution. Okay. Okay. So I, so I don't basically know. Basically, you're, 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 adding, you're adding, adding a little extra data uh, about the institution and about the, was it the accounts under that institution? Yeah, the, the, indeed the accounts. Okay. Um, what, what's kind of interesting is, is they, they give you this, this unique ID for, for my, uh, my format profile somewhere hidden in, the, hidden in the page. Like we could look at the XML, you'd see there's this little ID. So I know that when my, my page loads, it, it like, it, it reads that ID and then it searches my custom records with, for that ID. Oh, you mean what we're seeing yeah. visually showing here is your, is your records drawing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, so let's how did you, it. how did you create the pointer between that and your, in this file? Or your or your record type. Yeah, so it's that it's that little like they're producing this one time key. Look at it. Look at that. And that's what gives you this guy. It's look at this. Look at this. This is this is great. Well, I don't I don't know if it's great, but it, wait. It in other words, your what you're drawing down here is really your table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my table. It's my table. But somehow new somehow they bound it to your to your records. Yeah, yeah. So they so NetSuite produces this key. Okay. NetSuite produces that key. They, they give it to you and then inside my custom record, I populate that key. So I, yes, I know but how, that. but how did it know to go, which way to find which table to look at? Uh, the, the client, the, well, I have through, through this key, through this key, right? No, no, no. In other words, yeah. oh, that, yes, I see that. But how did, it, how did their software know to come look at this table? Oh, well, so I'm programming the plugin, plugin interacts client side. Oh, the plugin. Um, so the plugin, you did the binding in the plugin software. Yeah. All yep, right. Yep, I'm following yep, you. Yep. All right. So this, so that's yep. interesting. So that allows for flexibility for each, for each institution to have more robust things. So this could be an opportunity for us to make it better and better. You can, you can make it better and better. I'm, I'm confident about that. <laughs> Not exactly sure what, what direction we'll, we'll take, but no I, yeah, did, I, I, I followed the, I followed what suggested is the record mechanism. Yeah. The recommended approach here. I just followed it. You, so here you, you see what I've done. You see what I've done. Um, this, this is the, if I get inside my file, this, this particular bank account, I know it relates to a particular NetSuite bank account. Right. Makes sense. Anyhow, maybe I'm not displaying the the NetSuite account here. This is kind of the metadata for what you find in the account statement. Mm -hmm. But this this has to be also connected to the NetSuite account for it to make any sense. Because you're you know you're importing a statement. You want it to to map to the right accounts. No. Oh. oh, I guess that's the internal ID of the NetSuite one. Ah, I didn't put any any help. Well, there's so, so there's there's work to make it cleaner and, and more easy to okay, understand. Okay, but, right? but but this was your first implementation. You were trying to learn as you were going along. You're sort of discovering it as you're as you're thinking about it, right? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, that's okay. It's like we're all learning. When when you okay, um, what's the yeah, transaction tra code map? Oh, okay. So you've got a bank account statement. You're going to have um, lines that that are referring to different different things. One might be like, you're paying your tax. Another oh, one is, um, you bought qualities. some assets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. And, and those, those guys have, um, some sort of coding, uh, well, that depending makes sense. On, on, on the bank. So yeah, it and helps, then, it helps um, distinguish all the stuff, right? Yeah. So you could say, what, what are the options here? Oh, I see all these different yeah. things. Is that a list that they created for you? Yeah. 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 And that's kind of how they plug into their world, into that, into that, uh, their list. Yeah. Okay. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. All right. The, but you didn't have to do any mapping of that. You could have. No, we, 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 we indeed could have. So at the end, they're trying to match NetSuite transactions with these transactions coming in. Cause this and is just going this to see, a reconciliation, right? Yeah. 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 They're going to see, what are they going to see? They're going to see um, amounts. They're going to see transaction numbers, and they're going to see dates. Yep. And the person reconciling is going to be like working that list. 
Um, but the, the NetSuite transactions are already all mapped nicely to, of course, right? It's expense, it's, it's income, it's, it's Okay, bank, this, is, it's, this, this makes sense. I see how you get more control over this. Yeah, I, I wanna say, like you were talking about QuickBooks yesterday. I'm, I'm a user of Wave and mm -hmm. Wave, it's like, I think they've gone all the way with this. The whole Wave is driven by your, your, your bank account statement coming in. You let that thing flow and it flows in every five hours or something. And then you just categorize your transactions. Boom, 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 boom. And that's how you, you, you run your business, right? So it's more like very small business oriented. Mm -hmm. but that's, that's but, where I think these things could yeah. go, right? Yeah, yeah, it could go. So, so yeah, uh, it, well, indeed. Um, that's part but, of where I think it's like, that's part of why I think they're making this open, open, open so that they can yeah. get more leverage. Yeah, C certainly like, you, you've you've got and I'm 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 sure you've seen this like you you've got the the new match uh, bank data page and it's pretty pretty fancy you know like it's better it's definitely better but it still wants to match although they're giving you the ability to create transactions there but it's still still not the QuickBooks or probably Wave experience yeah that that's it yeah so yeah Netsuite's still thinking you're driving your business. On this yeah, side. you're leading and then, versus the bank, yeah. and then the bank's following versus the bank's leading. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Anyways, but, but it's it, no, it's it's great. Yeah. It, the direction is really good, and there's a big opportunity for us to just kind of get this framework down. You know. And, yeah. Totally. 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 I want to show you one last thing. Yep. Okay. I'm on my format profile. So Netsuite's gonna auto do run the connectivity every morning at 5 a.m. But once you save this, it's gonna just do it. One Let's more parser time. config. Parser parser config was something I commented out also inside my my plugin because okay. I don't I didn't need to, to tell the parser more stuff. Mm -hmm. I just just do your BI to import. Okay, got it, got it. NetSuite's trying to import right now. It's going for it, right? Oh, when I see you this. edit and save, and okay. then so now it's it's calling my PRI bank feeds connectivity. I see. It's it's going to fail. It's going to fail because, and what's cool is I see the message. My script said there was an issue during the data retrieval process. Um, you could have, my, you could, you could have probably said something like, "I don't see a file." I, I, I actually am doing that. So there's some other error which I don't, I don't know exactly why why it, in, it encountered an error. Maybe it's I'm looking at the wrong full. I don't know what happened. I just want to say the experience in the new release is, is unfortunately you don't have this nice page anymore. Oh, you, you need this page. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, I, know. I see what you're saying. I say, yeah, that's like, we got to get, this is comforting. Yeah. 